Welcome to this animated cutaway video of a solid state thin film battery. The material here is presented courtesy of CA Laton, the CA Laboratory for Innovation in New Energy Technologies in France. We're going to examine micro battery structure and operation. The fundamental platform a solid state battery is built on is a substrate, and in Simbit's case, this is a silicon wafer. A current collector is placed on the substrate first and then a lithium cobalt oxide cathode is deposited. Over the top of the cathode is the solid state electrolyte, in this case with Simbit, it's Lipon. Over the top of the Lipon is placed the anode and in Simbit Interchips the anode is lithium free. The entire structure then is encapsulated and it can be used as a bare die or in, as we'll see in a minute a packaged part. Let's examine now how the battery operates. We're going to look at the battery first in a charged state. So here we can see that we have lithium ions and as the battery begins to discharge electrons flow from the anode down to the cathode and we get a migration of the lithium ions from the anode down to the cathode. Once the battery reaches the cutoff voltage we can then charge the battery and this is where the process is reversed. You can see the electrons flowing in the opposite direction uh, recombining with the lithium ions and then the lithium is being deposited up at the anode surface. This process can take place many many thousands of times and it's why a Simbit chip can last the life of the product. This can be packaged a number of ways, either bare die or encapsulated in a plastic package. And Simbit has a number of configurations of different battery sizes and different package types. For more information, you go to simbit.com for data sheets, application notes, white papers, evaluation kits, and educational videos. Thank you.